Okay, so hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the questions of probability from the exercise 16.3, right? NCRT we are doing 16.1 and 16.2. We have already uploaded, so you can uh, watch those also. Also, the theory portions is very much important. If you don't know the theory, you can't uh, try the questions of exercise. So first of all, go and watch the theory videos of axiomatic approach and all the basic uh, definitions that we have discussed in the previous video. So here, see, this is the first question. Is what actually? Which of the following cannot be the valid statement? probability for the outcomes of the simplest case so we have total w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 w6 and w7 of the any random experiments we have done and let us suppose their outcomes are w1 w2 and up to w7 so we have to now uh, verify the statement which statement can be the true here so see how we can see how we can check so first uh, here option number a if i see this first option a a is given that the probability of w1 is 0 0.1 fine you know what is the condition that probability of all the individual if you are finding that should be always lying between 0 to 1 so it should be greater than or equal to 0 and its maximum value should be 1 only so this is the first things second thing is what that sum of all the probability if you are finding the sum of all your probability so it should be always be one right so sum of probability of all the sample point is always one so this is the two conditions uh, in the probability that we have to check and if it's follow these two then it will be the acceptable so first of all probability of w1 is given 0 0.1 that's okay so fine so here this condition is okay that probability is lying between 0 to 1 now second what we have to check the sum of all the probabilities should be what 1 so let us add it uh, so if we add this all value so what we are getting this is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 equals what 0 0.8 0 0.8 plus 1 this is 0 0.9 so if you are adding this value this value and this value is what we are getting we are getting here 0 0.9 plus if we add this thing now see this is 0 0.03 plus 0 0.01 this is 0 0.04 0 0.04 plus 0 0.05 is, uh, 0 0.01 is what 0 0.05 and this is the case so this is again after you are adding this all you are getting 0 0.1 whenever you are adding this value this value and this value and this value so of course its sum is what one so yes it is valid so this is a valid statement similar way you have to check all so this is also okay because if we add this all to total 7 are there so if we add so you will get 1 here so if we add this all value you are getting 1 right if you are adding all and because of all is lying between 0 to 1 so that is also acceptable third one if you see the third one so all are lying between 0 to 1 that part is okay because 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 but if you add 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6 is at least uh, this is 1.3 so their addition part actually is what in this case this is greater than 1 right so if you are checking here you can clearly see this if you are adding this is greater than 1 so this implies this is this is not acceptable this is not so this is not a this is not not valid right this is not a valid probability given here this is not valid right so this part is not valid given here this is not valid right this is not valid okay let us take d1 so d here it is given negative value this is also negative value so you can directly reject again not valid this is again not valid if you check this one so here it is you can see this one 15 upon 14 this is at least greater than 1 again not valid because politic will always be lying between 0 to 1 so hopefully the first question is clear to all of you simply you have to check for all the sample point the quality of first one is lying so will be 0 to, will be between 0 to 1 and second you have to check that the sum of all the quality of sample point should be 1 only so if this uh, and then two conditions is fine so that probability will be valid otherwise not so hopefully you get that concept okay fine 
okay so let us see the second number question in this question what is given here that a coin is tossed twice okay so a coin is tossed what is the probability that at least one uh, tail occurs okay so very easy question see how you can do simply write the sample space first of all sample a space so a coin is tossed twice right so how we can write that is h h h t can be there t h can be there and t t can be there so this is the sample space now what is here e event so e is an event what is the probability that at least one tail occurs right so at least one tail at least one tail at least one tail at least one tail means what here either ht we can take or th we can take so what is the probability you know the probability is nothing but pe pe or total here this is any upon ns to so number of element that is in the favor of your events that is here 2 divided by total number of element is the same place that is 4 so it can cancel two times that is answer is what half so half is the answer of this question number two okay very simple hopefully you get the concept okay so see in the question number three now here it's showing a die thrown fine a die thrown find the probability of the following events very easy so see how we can do so first of all write the sample space here in this case sample a space so what is the simplest space when a die is when a die is thrown so what is the uh, total outcomes may be either one or two or three or four or five or six so this is the outcomes talking about the first question first is saying that e so a prime number will appear right so what is the prime number so prime number you know either it can be two three or five in this case so either two or three or Five. Simply find the polity. What is the polity of? Let us suppose it is event A one. If you can suppose this is your event number E one. This is supposed to be event number E two. Supposed to be event number E three. Supposed to be event number E four. And supposed to be event number E five. So what is the polity of E one? So that is nothing but a uh, polity of here. This is your and you can write it in this way because you have supposed to be E1 so it's more better if I write here E1 this is E1 is the event 1 what is this actually like by here N of E1 divided by S N S so what is N E1 N E1 is here 3 and the total N is in the 6 it will be cancelled 2 times that is what actually 1 by so 1 by 2 is the answer here similarly if you see the second number here e2 what is e2 actually e2 that is a number greater than or equal to 3 will appears right so number greater than equal to 3 so 3 may be here okay 4 5 and 6 because number can be greater than or equal to 3 so 3 or more than 3 will be acceptable so what is the probability of this event PE2 to so number of element in this event E2 divided by total number of element in a sample space. So here we have how many element 1, 2, 3, 4. So total 4 are there and total NS we have 6. So we can cancel 2 times here and 3 times here. So what is the answer here? 2 by 3. So answer of this question number 2 is nothing but 2 by 3. Hopefully you are getting the concept. What is this actually? NE1. So NE1 is here what? This is your 3. And what is here? Your NE2. That is your 4. So A is nothing but a total number of your sample space. Fine. Now come to the question number uh, 3. If you look at the question number 3 here. So a number less than or equal to 1 will appear. Fine. So what is E3 here? E3. That is a number less than or equal to 1. E3 means what? A number less than or equal to 1. 
so number less than or equal to one so less than talking about so i think only one will be here because in the dice no number less than one can be there so this will be probability of e3 is what actually we have only uh, sorry e3 is what actually so here number of element is only one divided by total number of element is six so probability is one upon six if we see the fourth number here so the number more then number more than six will appear that is e4 so what is how many a uh, outcomes in this number more than six will appear no so five so there is no outcomes in which number more than four will be there that is what actually zero by six that is answer is what actually here zero so answer of this question is nothing but zero if you look at the fifth number a number less than six will appear a number less than 6 okay so fifth number is saying that e5 is what number less than 6 so number less than 6 actually you know either maybe 1 2 3 4 or 5 number less than 6 is all so what is the probability of e5 if we check so probability of e5 will be nothing but 5 divided by because here total number of element in this event is 5 here total number of element in this event is what 0 that's why we have written here 0 by 6 so this is what 5 by 6 so this is the answer of this question so hopefully you get the concept here how we are writing and these things of these questions and very easy questions is just a simple thing the situations how it is there okay if you are not able to understand and then you can write in the Comment video. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, so see in this question number four, here it is given that what a card is selected from the pack of 52 cards. Okay. So how many points are there in the sample point? So hopefully you know first of all in the well suffered pack card there are total uh, 52 cards, right? So uh, in well suffered, well suffered. Pack card, packed card, there are total 52 cards, right? So, how many sample points are there? Of course, sample point total are uh, 52. So, what is the first answer here? A. So, how many sample points are there, right? So, the total sample point, total number of sample point, total number of sample points. Will be nothing but 52. Second question number B saying calculate the probability that the card is an ace of a spade. So before that, let me show you very quickly the how the cards are divided there. So if you have total 52 cards, right? So let me show you here. Total 52 cards you have. So in a bell suffer 52 cards actually if you divide this one so total 52 cards right these are divided to total two different color okay so theta here 26 card of black color black color and 26 card of red color so red and black further this 26 black divided into two parts 13 13 13 known as spade card this is the spade right 13 here known as a club club right and this here 626 so again 13 13 card here 13 card you have known as let us heart its name heart and 13 cards here known as the diamond so these are the division of card now see in this division here also we have one s then two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then king queen jack here also the same s then one two three four five six seven eight nine king queen and jack here the same thing is one s of heart then two then three four five six seven eight nine then one king of heart queen of heart jack of heart right similarly here also 
you can see s of diamond then 2 of diamond 3 of diamond 4 of diamond 5 6 7 8 9 10 of diamond then king of diamond queen of diamond and jack of diamonds so actually this king queen and jack card are known as what this is known as the here this is the thing this card are known as the face card this is what face card okay face card so how many face card are there so total 3 into 4 becomes 12 face card okay and if you uh, this is uh, known as face card and if you add this ace card also with your face card this is known as the honor card right so what is the honor card so this card face card plus if i do the ace card becomes the honor card so for the honor card honor card how many honor cards are there so face card plus ace card so total 16 this other division i have shown you in the softly in the case of card now let us come to the question you can solve the question now how calculate the probability that the card is an ace of a spade okay okay so what is the things here uh, we want the events hour the, the card card is an ace of a speed ace of a speed a speed right so see this is your speed card in this one so what is the quality so only one card is there that is on the uh, that is in the a space that is in the a speed of s that is 1 upon 52 google so what is the answer of this question 1 upon 52 because this is only one ace card in the a spade. So 1 upon that is in the favor divided by total is 52 card. So 1 upon 52. Let us see the um, C number question number C here. Calculate the priority that first uh, the card is an ace card. Okay. So third first here you can see first one the probability of ace card. Probability of ace card. So how many S card are there total? 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4. So 4 divided by 52 you can cancel 13 times. So that is what? 1 upon 13. So this is the probability of an S card because total how many S cards are there? See the number of S card is total 4. So number of S card is total what? 4. Similarly second you can see here second what is talking about second number the black card. Okay. So probability of black card, probability of black card. So how many black card are there? Clearly you can see in this division, total 26 card are black, 26 are red. Total 26 card out of black color, out of total 52 cards, it will cancel two times. So that is what actually 1 by 2. So what is the probability of black card? So probability of black card is nothing but 1 by 2. So hopefully you get this concept of this question also, easy question, fine. So this is the after question number 4 we have discussed. So next question we will do the next video. Thank you.